This episode is sponsored by Aura, the smart, simple way to stay safe online. Hello, and welcome back to more coverage of the Democrat Party's attack on the 2024 elections. As yet another deranged Democrat rationalizes the disenfranchisement of voters based on her opinion that she thinks her political opponent, who she has a fanatical hatred for, is an insurrectionist. You definitely want to see her insane excuse for taking authoritarian control of the elections, but first, I'm going to tell you how to take authoritarian control of your personal information. Your chances of falling victim to online crime are one in four. If you're watching this, chances are you're nodding your head right now because you've been a victim. I'll post a link to this study in the description, but basically, researchers first identified hundreds of US-based data brokers' websites legally advertising the sale of, quote, military and veterans' personal info. Yes, really. The findings were disturbing. These US-based data brokers sold the researchers everything about these veterans, including medical information and geo location data. Yes, really. So what's my point? You're not a veteran and you have nothing to worry about, right? Foreign organizations are targeting more than just servicemen. They're targeting everyday people like you and me. And that's where Aura comes in. It's an all-in-one digital safety tool that identifies these brokers selling your info and submits opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle that for you. And in case you're wondering, yes, Yes, Aura is a U.S.-based company with 100% U.S.-based customer support staff that's available 24-7. And Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats that you can't see. Aura also offers credit and identity monitoring, antivirus, VPN, password management, comprehensive parental controls, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. And the peace of mind of knowing that plans include $1 million of identity theft insurance for each adult, up to five adults in a family plan. Go to Aura.com forward slash drone tech and get your first 14 days free. This is a product I trust and you can find that link in the description and pinned comment. Remember how I'm always talking about Democrats being dangerous because they can literally rationalize anything and will do so in order to get authoritarian control of the elections and criminalize their opponents? It's a very detailed decision. Uh, we lay out uh, why under Maine law, the Secretary of State has the authority, indeed the obligation. I'm duty bound to make this determination. Uh, we also, I rather um, laid out that the record demonstrates that, in fact, the events of January 6, 2021, which were unprecedented and tragic, uh, were an insurrection uh, in the meaning of Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. And finally, uh, in reviewing the facts presented, the evidence, uh, the law, the history, um, we determined uh, under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment that Mr. Trump engaged in insurrection. Uh. Everything that guy just says bullshit. No, she didn't do any of that. She's a rabid Obama Biden supporter who watched lots of MSNBC, then told herself that she's duty bound to stop Trump from being elected and simply not giving voters a choice. Oh, that's brilliant. Who knew that the Constitution allows your political opponents to use their partisan opinions as justification to rig the election in their favor? You don't even need to be charged or convicted of anything. All you need is an institutional support base to back up your opinions by endlessly repeating them as fact. I wonder if this standard goes both ways because one of the only real mandates of our government is to protect the borders, which they're not doing because Democrats think allowing this invasion will give them permanent political power. Are you noticing a pattern in their motives? Now, I, I, I have to say, not only is this an incredibly important decision, but it's a very brave decision. <laughs> Uh, the Trump campaign has, has already come out attacking you. Uh, they have said that you are a, a virulent leftist and a hyper-partisan Biden-supporting Democrat. Oh no, they did that? Of course, those totally factual statements are way worse than bravely taking over an election and removing your opponent from a ballot based on your own bullshit opinions. And by the way, just to remind you, it was only around 300 people that rioted out of over 120,000 people who marched peacefully, which is exactly what Trump told them to do. And that's not even getting into all the questions about how that riot got started in the first place. Or social media removing Trump's video telling rioters to stop. First and foremost, it's important to know my oath to the Constitution, my obligations to the Constitution and rule of law come before any other consideration. No other factors could weigh on that decision and did not. I'm duty bound to both hold a hearing and make a ruling. 
And under the law, there's a very compressed timeline. Uh, in evaluating this, uh, I came to the conclusion that I could not, unfortunately or fortunately, wait for the United States Supreme Court to make a de decision. Hands. Are we the baddies? The media is supposed to be a check on this sort of thing, not cheering it on. Folks, this is exactly the danger I saw coming. Like CCP survivor Awayway said, I don't think Trump is an authoritarian because you cannot just be an authoritarian. You need institutional support. And in a lot of ways, we're already in an authoritarian state. All right, folks, that's all I have for now. But if you're still watching, please consider hitting that like button. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.